I also have a very exciting new device in my office. I'd forgotten because I am an actual idiot. guys i hope you're all doing really well welcome back to another studio vlog today is going to be the usual day in the lifestyle studio vlog it's currently tuesday the 24th of october today and the last time you will have seen me if you've been around this channel for over a week you would have seen my vlog that i did and uploaded last wednesday all about bell's pumpkin patch which was a pumpkin patch that i went to with my little pop-up shop and it was just such a lovely weekend thank you so much for the love on that video i got loads of lovely comments saying how lovely the pumpkin patch looked and if you were nearby you would have definitely come and stopped by and said hello which means so much to me and i just again want to do a quick shout out to kiri and sharon who are both part of my patreon family and they came out to see me at bell's pumpkin patch and it was just so lovely to meet them in person so thank you so much kiri and sharon for coming along but today we are back to business on Prince by Mini stuff. I have started designing the Christmas collection and that is in full swing at the minute. My patrons have had first looks at that and they're really excited about this collection. I will reveal more about that later on in the studio vlog because we are going to work on that a little bit today. Sorry, I'm just checking my Etsy messages. I've just had one come through. Um, and we've got some orders to pack both on Etsy and I have one website order to pack I think from, let's have a look, who is the order from? It is from Andrea, Andrea S. Thank you so much for your order, I'm going to get that packed for you today as well. I also have a very exciting new device in my office, I treated myself to an iMac and it is an absolute game changer. So I was using a MacBook, I still am using my MacBook, but for my office space I now have an iMac, a permanent setup, and the big screen is just such a game changer. I am absolutely loving it. And also it's just like right behind me right now, behind the camera, and I can be looking at things, and yeah, it's just amazing. So that's another exciting thing that's happened within the past week. What did it when did I order it? on last monday i think and it came on the tuesday which was insane i bought a refurbished one um just to save a few pennies but it's like brand new so definitely check out the refurbished section on apple if you are thinking about buying a new device whether it's a phone laptop computer whatever it is so yeah orders the pack got myself a new device for my office which is insane and what else have I got to do today? Well, I've got to record a Patreon podcast because I've not put one up yet this month. So I need to get that done, have a little catch up with them. I also need to contact my patrons about something exciting that's happening. So I'm going to be filming a small business Christmas gift guide for my YouTube channel. And I want to use that opportunity to show off and celebrate my patrons and their beautiful small businesses as well. So I'm going to be showing off some of their goodies in that Christmas gift guide. So I've done a poll on patreon for people to vote um if they would like to take part in that christmas gift guide if they'd like me to show a product of theirs or anything at all so i need to go through all the people who have opted in for that message them and say they can send the things whenever they like i'm going to be filming that in the second week of november i think so i've got a while yet but i wanted to get it out so they've got plenty of time to make something if they need to and also get it sent out as well so that's another thing on my to-do list today so i think the first thing i'm going to do is get cracking with packing my etsy orders and also the shopify order that i've got to do from andrea as well she's ordered two a5 prints and also two of the introverted extrovert club enamel pins so we can get those orders packed the ones on etsy are mostly greeting cards as always i mostly just sell greeting cards over there for some reason i'm not complaining but it's just funny how i don't know why is it greeting cards i've still not figured out the answer to that question i do get a lot of print orders on there as well but it's mostly greeting cards and a few stickers anyway i'm mostly focusing on my shopify site now anyway of course I'll still keep my Etsy open because I get quite a lot of orders over there so it helps keep things ticking along. So yeah, let's get packing some orders. I just want 
do a quick shout out to Mumbin and say thank you so much for sending me this Bluetooth thermal label printer. I love it so much. Previously I had the, I can't remember what it was called now, the Zing thermal printer which was amazing, I loved it. Um, but obviously this one is pink and my other one was grey so when they offered to send me this label printer I of course said yes and I love it so much. It does exactly the same as my other one and I sent my other one to one of my lovely patrons Lauren who is using that now and she's loving it as well so I'm really pleased about that but this one just makes my desk space look so much more prints by Millie and aesthetic and I just love it. It prints off labels perfectly. I won't show you the labels because they've got addresses on but they're perfect and you can also print on other sizes like these um, square holographic ones. I've not actually used these yet but yeah you can get loads of different sizes of labels as well not just six by four. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. Um, so yeah, I need to try these at some point as well, maybe make some like happy mail stickers, we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to show that and just say thank you so much Mumbin for sending me this, I love it. <laughs> just finished packing all my Etsy orders, my greeting card orders and stickers. I had printed a couple of the print orders out and my uh, my sticker, my printer is now flashing at me because it's run out of yellow ink and I am an idiot and haven't ordered any ready. So Amazon Prime to the rescue, that is coming tomorrow. So all orders that have wall art prints in them will have to be dispatched tomorrow now which is fine because um i think tomorrow is the last dispatch date anyway so we're all good but it just means that andrea who ordered on my website i would have liked to have sent hers off today but that's gonna have to wait until tomorrow now but i'll send it first class so that it hopefully gets to her by wednesday no thursday i'm losing the track of days um 
But yeah, all orders are packed that I can do. Note to self, always check your printer ink levels. Um, it's happened on multiple occasions now and I still haven't learned my lesson so I seriously need to crack down on that and make sure I know when my ink is low. Um, but it's not the end of the world because like I say I can just dispatch them tomorrow and send any first class that need to be sent first class. But yeah, moving on, I'm now gonna go through all my patrons who have commented on the poll I put on there about the Christmas gift guide that I'm gonna post over here on YouTube and get in contact with them about what they'd like to feature in the small business gift guide and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go through that all on Patreon now and send those a message. And then I'm gonna unbox something with you. I've been sent a lovely PR package, so we're gonna unbox that. Let's head over to Patreon and get these messages sent out. <laughs> to my patrons it's now all sent it took me so long to write that message i really had to think about like the information i need from them in order to put this gift guide together and yeah it took me loads longer than i expected to draft that message but it's all sent now there are 10 patrons at the minute who are interested in being featured in the gift guides so i'm going to be filming that video on monday the 13th of november so hopefully products will get sent for them but i said as well in the message that if for any reason they can't send a physical product or if they're international things like that makes it a bit more tricky so i can just put like listing photos on instead of showing an actual physical product so hopefully everyone can be involved if they would like to be but yeah i'm really excited about that i love doing slightly different videos i just the idea popped into my head and i just thought it would be so lovely to have the opportunity to share my patreon small businesses and their lovely products as well and i'm excited to see them all too also my sister has started a nail business she is now a qualified nail technician and she did these nails for me yesterday is it going to focus i don't think it is oh it is how gorgeous are they she's in a mummy a little pumpkin and then on this side we've got a little ghost focus a little spooky ghost and also a little spider's web i love them so much she's so clever she's only been doing it since well for a month and she's already doing nail art like that i just think it's incredible so if you're local to me and live in and around the boston lincolnshire area i will also link my sister's new business below but yeah i just wanted to show you my spooky nails i wanted to get some spooky ones in before spooky season is over so yeah i'm gonna skip recording the patreon podcast for now i think i will do that tomorrow because for the rest of the working day i would like to make up some of my christmas stickers so the christmas theme for this year is going to be candy cane lane bakery so all the products are going to be themed on Christmas and festive baked goods. I've illustrated the bakery shop storefront, which is so cute. I will put a picture on screen now of what it looks like. I'm super excited about this collection. I can't wait to work on it some more. I have ordered some products for the collection, but not many at all. So I really need to get cracking and get some things sent off. But hopefully most of the things I will be able to do myself anyway, like with stickers and sticker sheets and things like that. So yeah, I want to make 
the die cut sticker of my candy cane bakery shop front today and also some of the Christmas baked goods like I've got a Yule log, Christmas pudding and there'll be die cut stickers as well so we're gonna have a bit of a sticker making session now and hopefully my silhouette is game for that I think it will be it's just that it's quite gloomy outside today and the lighting does affect it a little bit but I've got my ring light, I'm going to shine that over it and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will all go smoothly so yeah, let's get making some Christmas stickers So I wanted to show you how I do my die cut sticker outlines because I shared this at one point on the Rebels chat as a part of um, Rebel Jones' Patreon and quite a few of them said they hadn't seen that method before so I just want to really quickly show you how I do it and hopefully it helps some of you out. So get my design on here as a PNG. I then duplicate the layer and I change the brightness so that it's up to max so that it goes white like that. Then I go to the, where is it? The Gaussian blur, I think that's how you say it. And I blur the edge so that it just comes out a little bit from the design, like so. Then I go to this sign up here, automatic, and I just click on a blank space. And then I basically adjust the threshold so that the gap on the outside is to my liking. So I'm liking how that's looking at the minute. Then just make sure that invert is selected again because it's gone off for some reason. So I click invert. And then I select the colour that I want the background to be. So usually it's white, but this time I'm going for a blue. Then I'm going to select the hard blend airbrush, put it to 100%. And then that fills in that space. And then you've got the sticker and its outline and it's perfect. So it's just so much easier than having to manually go around the edge and draw the outline. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Sorry if I explained it really badly, but that's me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just thought I'd share that because it might help some of you out. So I'm going to export this now as the PNG to Silhouette Studio and try and get the sizing right because I want it to be a fairly big sticker, but not too big. Like I want it to still be able to fit on your phone, say. So if I just measure this and check how wide my phone actually is, so the back of my phone is seven centimeters. So if I did it six centimeters wide, it would obviously be about six or seven centimeters tall. And I think that will probably be around the right size. So I want it fairly big so you can see the text and things like that. But yeah, let's see how this looks on Silhouette Studio. So I've just opened up Silhouette Studio. I'm so sorry guys, I feel like this whole vlog is so dark like it's raining outside now and yeah it's just quite gloomy so i'm doing my best to try and make it a bit brighter but it's proving quite difficult so i've uploaded the design here and then i make sure to put the registration marks on just so i know where i can move it about and i said i wanted it about six centimeters but this silhouette is in inches at the minute so what's that so i need it to be two and a half inches wide because that works out as the six centimetres, so that'll be about this size. So we'll see how many of these we can fit on one sheet. Okay, so I've just done it and I can fit eight on a sheet, which I'm pretty happy with. I don't want to make them any smaller because, like I said, I want them to be quite big so you can hopefully read the sign on the shop storefront so i'm going to print these off now cut them and then we can see what they look like so i uh just hit print on my stickers and then i realized my printers ran out of yellow ink i'd forgotten because i am an actual idiot so i've set up my secondary printer which is on the bottom of these shelves and it has like compatible ink it's not actual canon official ink so i only really use that for like packaging stickers and things that will be going like in the bin i don't use it for products that i sell if that makes sense so i'm going to print these stickers using that printer just so i can see the sizing but the colours may just be slightly different because my Canon, this one that has the Canon ink in it is a lot more vibrant and colourful 
um, and the colours come out more true to colour. So we are going to print it using my secondary printer, but the colours may just be slightly different. But at least we can get an idea on the size, which is the main thing. so happy with how these have turned out look how cute they are you can see the little yule logs and the christmas cupcakes in the window as well it just looks so adorable and i love it with this frosted matte finish on so all my stickers have this laminate over the top it makes them really thick and really durable like it's not flopping or moving anywhere they're really sturdy and yeah, I'm just really proud of my stickers. They've come a long way and it took me so long to find all the right products for them. Um, but yeah, I really love them and I think they look so cute. And you can just about read the writing on the top as well. I'm happy with how that looks. These are the little candy cane bakery stickers. So all of the characters and the bakery and things like that will all be available as separate die cut stickers. There will also be a sticker sheet and... The usual things as well as some other exciting products as well we're going to have a christmas sweater and loads of exciting things but i'm really happy with that as a first trial i think they look so cute and i don't actually think i need to make any changes to these they'll look even brighter as well and more colorful when they're printed on my usual printer and not my secondary one <laughs> um so these ones will probably be sold as second we'll see how different they look to the others but yeah, I hope you guys really love these too. So stickers have been made. I'm going to later on today make some of the other stickers of the little bakery characters that I've designed so far. But I'm going to do those a bit later on. I won't bore you with the same process, but it'll just be the same thing, just making all the different die cut stickers. So you'll probably see those in next week's vlog. But to end the vlog today, I'm going to unbox a really exciting PR package that I've been sent. So I've been sent a really exciting box of goodies from Midnight Fox Crafts. I will put their logo on screen now. I will of course leave them linked below as well. But I'm going to turn you around now and kind of hopefully do a bird's eye view of me unboxing and seeing what's inside. So yeah, let's do that. I'll turn you around so you're not looking at me. You're looking at all the good stuff that's in here. Okay, I've just opened one side so that I can hide my dress, <laughs> but we'll just open up the rest of this top part and see what's inside. So we've got some lovely pink tissue paper and this lovely little pumpkin sticker as well. We've got a note. I'm going to hold that up so that you can read it. Feel free to pause, but basically... Carmen has said she's been following me for a while and I've been a constant inspiration from her and her small business that is so lovely and then she's spoken a little bit about all the different products that are in here and there's a discount code for you guys as well Millie 20 take care never change Carmen Midnight Fox Crafts so you can enter that code on her Etsy shop or main website and get 20% off so that's incredible thank you so much Carmen let's see what's inside so i'm gonna go for let's go for this little one to start with so i think she does loads of different goodies on her shop she does a lot of crystals but i don't think it's just crystals she does on her shop so we've got this lovely little i think this is what you put on your keys and then you can put it around your wrist like when you're shopping and things to keep your uh, keys out of the way that will be so handy Look at that gorgeous pattern as well it's like celestial i love the colors that is so sweet it feels so strong the fabric is really thick as well that's lovely I've got some little things in here as well oh how beautiful i love i think this is rose quartz in here i love rose quartz so much it's so pretty and it's on a lovely again this chain feels so strong as well it's a necklace and then we've got the lovely crystal inside there as well. 
this is her business card so she is on etsy and all her socials are on there as well so i'll leave those links below looks like we've got some little crystals in here oh they're so cute i love things like this these are definitely going on my shelves. And this orangey one, super cute for autumn. So it says in the note, I've just had a look, that carnelian, which is this orange one I think, is great for inspiring creativity and energy. That's so lovely. And the black stone is the zebra jasper and it says it's perfect for helping to avoid overthinking and to feel grounded. Definitely need those on my shelves. <laughs> then we've got another little one in here. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I think that is rose quartz here as well because it's got a slight pink tint to it. A lovely little rose quartz bracelet. That is adorable. So I'm going to open up this one next. Oh cute, I completely forgot she does scrunchies as well. Look at that scrunchie, <laughs> that is massive. Oh my god, that is so strong as well. If you have really thick hair, that would be incredible. I feel like you don't need to wrap it around like once or twice. That's that lovely pink one. Then we've got this gorgeous star design. That would be so cute for a beach day because it looks like little starfish. Then we have this purple one as well. Again, super cute for a beach day with the seahorses and some shellfish, starfish, bubbles. Oh my god, so cute. And another giant one. Oh my god, I love it. That design is so cute. It's got cute little flowers on it, little tulips. And the colours are so sweet as well. I've never seen scrunchies this big. I am in love. Okay, we've got a couple of other parcels in here. <gasps> this feels so heavy. <gasps> wow, that is so beautiful. Again, rose quartz, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that is rose quartz. <gasps> How stunning will that look sat on my shelves? I might even put it with my underneath my iMac. I might sit it there. I'll show you in a second where I put it. That looks really cute there. But that is so heavy. Oh my gosh, and it's like sparkly. That's so strange because I've always wanted to get a bit of rose quartz to have like in my office because I just think because it's pink, obviously. I didn't know the meaning of it though, so rose quartz, it says on here, is great for love and relationships, which includes self-love, plus it would look cute in your studio. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yes, it would. That will look very cute in my studio. Thank you so much, Carmen. And then we've got one more thing in here, in this little parcel. Oh, it's a tote bag. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? That embroidered it is. Oh, it's so cute. A little doggo ghost with his pumpkin. Oh, it's so cute. That'll be so good for post office runs and things like that. Or if you have kids, obviously trick or treating, that'll be perfect. Now, oh, I can't believe how generous you have been, Carmen. All those products are so beautiful. My favourite things are probably the bracelet, the rose quartz, and I also flipping love these massive scrunchies i've never seen scrunchies that big in my life thank you so much again i'll leave all her details below and here's her business card again so you can have a look at the logo please go and check carmen out and don't forget you can use milli 20 as well on any of your orders to get 20 percent off okay guys and that is it for today's vlog thank you so much to midnight fox crafts for sending me that lovely box of goodies i'm so incredibly grateful that you wanted to send me some bits and it's honestly all so so beautiful you should be so proud of your business i have really enjoyed filming this vlog for you today it feels like ages since i've sat down and done a studio vlog and filmed bits throughout the day because my last vlog was the craft market one but yeah it's been really nice to get back to it i will see you all next week with another studio vlog and we'll work some more on the christmas collection which is so exciting thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give it a like because it really helps push these videos to other people who like this kind of content as well and hopefully they
Monday find and discover my channel and can come and join us too and if you are not subscribed already then please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can join us and you don't miss any future videos I'm so grateful for every single one of you if you stuck around to the end thank you so much I am going to sign off now I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you very soon in another studio vlog bye guys Thank you.